Hey everybody, it's Dr. O'Neill. Let's get our learn on. Have you ever wondered why we have to use immersion oil? You ever wondered why we have an oil immersion objective on a microscope? So what's the oil all about? Well, let's dive in. So first, before we can talk about that, let's just, a little bit of terminology, uh, reflection versus refraction. So if, uh, let me go ahead and get my pen out here. And let's say we have a medium here of any, we'll say it's the glass slide, doesn't matter. If light strikes it and bounces off of it, then it's been reflected. If as it travels through it, it changes direction, it's been refracted. All right, so we're gonna be talking about the refraction of light here primarily. So let me go ahead and get this cleaned off. So a big picture here is what happens. What we'd like to happen is as light travels through the microscope, towards the viewer, which would be you. We want it to take a nice straight shot, but it doesn't work that way without a little help because there, oops, because light rays can bend, they can, they can refract. So what happens is a lot of times the light starts to veer off to one side and I changed the color there, sorry about that. And we'll go ahead and we'll look at that a little bit more closely here. So we were just meant this is just the, the idea behind it. If you think about what a lens is, it's actually, as they've been created, that's just a, it's a bunch of prisms and that leads to um, some refraction of light. And it's generally not a big deal at the lower magnifications like uh, uh, scanning power, low power, high dry power. But when you get to the higher magnification, there's not that much light to go around. So we can't afford to have a bunch of light rays bending and missing the objective. And that's, that's the whole point here. So here, as you see, just again, to reiterate what refraction is, as light travels through a substance, through a medium, it's going to bend. And we have to try to limit that. And that is where immersion oil comes into play. This is just a cool example of it. This is actually a straight pole, but it looks like it's bent because the refractive index of water is different than the refractive index of air. And that brings us to our point today. So without immersion oil, as light travels up, let me make sure I have my red back here, as light travels up, towards you know through the through the glass slide through the specimen through air because there wouldn't be any oil there a lot of the light rays are going to bend or refract and they're going to actually miss the objective and they're not going to do you any good so the reason you add immersion oil is because immersion oil which is really nothing fancy it's basically mineral oil has the same refractive index as glass so as far as the light is concerned it actually has not stopped traveling through the slide so more light rays are going to travel up into the 100x objective towards the 10x or whatever magnification ocular you have and you're going to get a nice clean image so you can try to use oil immersion objectives without oil but uh, it's generally going to be a very fuzzy mess so the immersion oil speaking of messes it can be very messy to work with but it really is a game changer at these higher magnifications all right i hope that helps you understand this concept and have a wonderful day go change the world